Barack Obama's day began on a solemn note. He and his vice president-elect laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns to honour America's war heroes. The next commander-in-chief will order an end to the Iraq war on his first full day in the Oval Office. He will be meeting with the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, to, uh, to, uh, to begin an orderly and responsible withdrawal from Iraq. Barack Obama is the most popular incoming president in a generation. In the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial, some of America's biggest stars have joined in the celebrations. The crowd was in the hundreds of thousands. Come on up for the rising With so many big names, the concert has been dubbed Obama Stock by some. It was an extravaganza fit for a president. What a thrill for four Irish boys on the north side of Dublin to honor you, sir, the next president of the United States, Barack Obama. The star of the show has struck a more somber tone. There is no doubt that our road will be long, that our climb will be steep, but never forget that the true character of our nation is revealed not during times of comfort and ease, but by the right we do when the moment is hard. Along his inaugural parade route, workers are making last-minute fixes as officials prepare for excited crowds. Yes. Very excited. We've been looking forward to inauguration for quite a long time. We got tickets to the swearing-in ceremony this morning. This morning. <laughs> so we are very happy. <laughs> the signs are this could be the largest inauguration crowd in history. Washington's mayor is predicting up to two million people will be here on Inauguration Day. He says no other event in the capital, not the anti-war protests, not even Martin Luther King's speech more than 40 years ago, will match it. For Americans, it's an historic event that'll bid goodbye to George W. Bush. Kim Landers, ABC News, Washington.